How's it going everybody and welcome back to Lead Therapy and thank you so very much for taking time for tuning in to my video. Florida to become the 22nd constitutional carry state. Florida could become the next state in a growing number that allows people to carry their guns openly or concealed without requiring a permit. Before I get further on into the video, I just want to say happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, and if you don't celebrate the holidays, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you guys could do me a favor, as always, if you enjoy this video, or if I gave you some information you didn't know, please take time to like, share, and subscribe, and hit those post notifications. It's greatly appreciated, and it helps the channel grow. The topic of constitutional carry is again surfacing this legislative session as a priority for conservatives and gun advocates in Florida. Proponents say allowing gun owners to carry openly or concealed without licenses reflects the Second Amendment, that it will deter crime and remove cost barriers and time lags for people who want to defend themselves. With the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services saying their turnaround time to get a license is about 50 to 55 days. Opponents worry about the kind of atmosphere it would create in Florida, raise safety concerns for the public and law enforcement, and say data shows more guns carried in public places lead to increased violent crime. A Republican state legislator has filed the bill for the third year in a row, and recently Governor Ron DeSantis, who is seeking re-election in 2022, and widely believed to be considering a run for president in 2024, said he supported the bill. In a six-second video recently posted online, Matt Collins, the director of legislation for Florida gun rights, asked DeSantis, if constitutional carry made it to your desk, would you sign it? And DeSantis answered, of course. The bill, sponsored by Representative Anthony Sabatini, who was a Republican, would both remove the requirement of a concealed weapons license in order to carry a gun and allow Floridians to carry them visibly. It also means that no gun owner would have to pay an application fee, a fingerprinting fee, or varying costs for the required safety training courses and classes, some of the current application requirements. The bill would also reduce the penalty for bringing a gun into a prohibited place, such as courthouses, polling places and campuses from a third degree felony to a second degree misdemeanor, changing the maximum punishment from five years in prison and up to a $5,000 fine to 60 days in jail and a maximum $500 fine. The same bill died in the 2020 and 2021 legislative sessions, and it remains to be seen how far the legislation could go in an election year where other priorities are likely to supersede gun laws. With DeSantis expressing support, Representative Sabatini recently wrote in an op-ed that the bill's chances of adoption have greatly improved. Anybody that can legally own a gun should be able to carry a firearm at any given time, Sabatini told the South Sun Sentinel. I think it's important to have a law on the books to allow people to defend themselves without government permission. Luis Valdez, the Florida State Director of Gun Owners of America and retired Florida law enforcement officers supports the bill, says the current license requirement in Florida turns the right into a privilege, one that proponents fear could be taken away. The idea of having to get a permission slip from the government to exercise an inalienable right that an individual is born with is ludicrous. That's why 21 states have passed it, Valdez said. As someone that has lived in Florida most of their life, I'm hoping that this law finally passes in 2022. As I mentioned in the story earlier, for the past two years, we have promised this was going to happen, and it never did. It's time for this law to be passed, and passed in 2022, as soon as possible. They don't call Florida the gunshine state for no reason. We have the highest number of people with concealed weapons permits at over 2 million. Please let me know your thoughts about the story in the comment section down below. And as I mentioned at the starting of the video, if you enjoyed the video or if I gave you some information you didn't know, please take time to like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video.